Making a copper salt. This experiment will show you how to make salt crystals from an acid and an insoluble base. This example uses sulfuric acid and copper oxide base to make a copper sulfate solution. Salt crystals are then obtained through crystallization. You're provided with the following. Bunsen burner, heat proof mat, tripod and gauze, spatula, glass rod, 100 and 250 centimeter cubed beakers, filter funnel and conical flask, filter paper, watch glass and evaporating basin, and your initial reagents of copper oxide powder and sulfuric acid. First, you'll have to measure out 40 centimeters cubed of sulfuric acid. It is not necessary to be too accurate here, so you can just use the graduations on the beaker. Make sure that the surface of the liquid lines up with the 40 centimeter cubed mark. The acid needs to be heated using a Bunsen before we add the copper oxide. Set up the heat proof mat, tripod and gauze and place your beaker of acid on top. Before you light the Bunsen, you must make sure that it is set to the safety flame. This means that the collar must be closed. Here you can see a closed collar and an orange safety flame. When you open the collar, the Bunsen turns to a blue heating flame, which is much hotter. Turn the gas on and light the Bunsen. It is important to position the Bunsen between the legs of the tripod so that it can be easily removed. Open the collar and set to the blue heating flame. Gently heat the acid until just before boiling. This will take a few minutes. You're looking for steam to come off the surface of the acid and not a bubbling liquid. At this stage, close the collar to turn to the safety flame and set aside in a safe position out of the way. Now you'll need to add an excess of copper oxide powder to the hot acid. Use the spatula and fill the tip with powder. There's no need to add heaps. Stir with the glass rod until the oxide disappears. As the reaction proceeds, you will see a colour change from a colourless to a blue solution. Continue to add more copper oxide until a small amount of it remains after stirring. To remove the unreacted copper oxide, you will have to filter the solution. While you're leaving your apparatus to cool, you can set up the filtration. For this, you'll need your filter funnel and a conical flask. Fold the filter paper into half and then quarters. Adjust to a cone shape to fit the funnel. When the beaker has cooled enough for you to handle, you can start to filter. Lift the funnel above the conical flask and pour in the contents slowly by adding small volumes at a time. Be patient as it can take a while for the solution to filter through. As you get towards the bottom of the beaker, Give the solution a swirl to make sure you filter out all of the copper oxide powder. Once filtration is complete, you will retain the filtrate for the next step. Before crystallization, 
you'll need to concentrate the solution by evaporating off some of the water. Pour the filtrate directly into the evaporating basin. At this stage, you will heat with a water bath. Fill a 250 cm cubed beaker to halfway with water. Place on top of your heating setup with the evaporating dish. Place your Bunsen back into position and open the collar to a heating flame. You'll need to wait until the original volume of the solution reduces to half. It will take around three to four minutes for the water bath to boil, but it takes much longer for the solution to reduce. When half of the solution remains, you can turn the Bunsen back to safety flame, remove from the tripod and turn off. Now you'll need to allow your equipment to cool down to room temperature. Again, this takes a while and so you'll have to be patient. Once the dish is safe to handle, transfer the solution to your watch glass. Leave this in a cool place to allow crystallization to occur. After 24 hours, you should see that the blue copper sulfate crystals have formed. Remove these from the solution with a spatula and pat dry between filter paper to obtain your final product.